hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel today i bring you this very easy and very quick okra soup recipe the yorubas in nigeria call this ilala sepo this recipe requires no ceremony or plenty drama i will also show you how to achieve the slimy consistency so if you want your okra to draw like this please stay with me this is my go-to soup when i have little time but also want something really delicious Hello, my name is Remy. In case this is your first time here, I share delicious recipes that are easy to follow here on my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. Let's go on this food adventure together. <laughs> this recipe, I use some leftover proteins from my freezer. So there's really no rule to the types of proteins you can use. All right, so let's take a look at the ingredients. Here, I have assorted meat and pomo smoked fish, panla specifically, scent pepper and iru. The scent pepper is just yellow scotch bonnet pepper. And I have meat stock, I have palm oils, one seasoning cube. I have okra which has been pre-cooked and I'll tell you why I pre-cooked this really soon. Blended crayfish, uziza leaves. Let's get cooking. Like I said earlier, this recipe is really quick, so there, there are no ceremonies at all. <laughs> so I'll just add all the proteins in the pot alongside pepper, iru, meat stock, palm oil, seasoning cube, and I'll cover this and let it cook for some 15 minutes. Please hit the like button if you're enjoying this video. Also, please subscribe if you have not. <laughs> It's been 15 minutes and it's a good time to go in with the okra. This is a trick I use all the time to achieve slimy okra and it never fails. Instead of adding the fresh okra directly in the soup or stew base, try boiling for 3 to 5 minutes on its own before adding and you will see the difference. And by the way, there is no potash in this okra at all. I really don't use it for anything. I don't believe it is what makes a widow okra slimy. Those vegetables will have that consistency if you find the right one. Because for a widow, for instance, there are some that you buy and no matter what you try, even if you add all the potash in this one, they will not draw. <laughs> so, bottom line is I don't use potash. I don't even have it. I should mention that the preparation method you choose and how long you cook these vegetables affect the consistency. You cook for too long, you lose the slimy effect. Now I will add blended crayfish and uziza leaves. I will combine this really well. I'll give this a taste to see if it needs any adjustment. It's perfect. <laughs> I'll leave this to cook for one more minute. If you prefer your okra soup a little runny, feel free to add some water to it. I like mine thick like this. And I'm done. <laughs> This was really fast and I think anyone can pull this off. I am serving this delicious soup with amala. This combo is dear to my heart. <laughs> Thank you for staying with me on this one and I'll see you again with another fantastic recipe. Bye. <laughs>